Hiya guys, Love at Scout one again. Thank you very much. Before we get on to it, um, we're going to talk about stalking rifles this afternoon. Thank you very much though, before we start, for your kind words, your kind feedback, your subscriptions in some cases. Um, I do hope that you are enjoying what you're watching and enjoying hearing sort of tales of a, a job in stalker and one thing or another. Um, I know I've struck a chord with some of you with bushcraft knives and one thing or another. So thank you very much for that. You know, please stick with me. I've got some other other stuff that I've got coming up that I'm sure will be of interest to you. Um, for those that you have stuck with me, I have promised you a review on a rifle, on a stalking rifle. Now, guns is something that I know, something that I've got a few of, quite a few of, uh, and it's something that it not only is a passion, but you know these are my workaday tools. Um, if some of you have seen my um, stalking rounds DVD, uh, stalking rounds video. Um, you'll know my passion for the 6555 Swedish Mauser. Um, if you haven't, I do urge you to go and look at it because it's a damn fine piece of video making. No, no, I, I digress. I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be funny with you. Um, but after years of shooting heavy caliber rifles and getting my shoulder wrecked up, one thing or another, I've landed on this. Um, I changed to the 6.5. Um, last year, back in the last year before um, before I, I uh, got back to stalking after my operation and I haven't regretted it at all. This is a, a rifle made by CZ from Czechoslovakia. I'll do sort of back to front, so scope, bipods, moderator, go back again, moderator, pods, stock, scope, bolt action, pad. Um, this is the CZ American um, Basically why it's called an American is it's got a floating barrel, which means that the barrel doesn't actually touch the wood. Um, it floats. That allows for the, the barrel when it's warm to expand and contract. So it doesn't it doesn't affect the accuracy of the of the rifle at all. And it's got a bit more a bit more of a bit nicer woodwork. And of course, as you can see there, it's checkered, um, you know, and it's called a CZ American basically because it's made for the American market. It's made for um, American shooters who, who demand a different product than we do in Europe, uh, you know, and CZ cater to the markets and sell these rifles all over the world and they sell very well. I've been a CZ fan for a long number of years. I've had CZ, CZ well, Bruno as it was then, rim fires. Um, and the workaday tools, you can't fault them. They're well made. They're very accurate. And this rifle is is not a showpiece. It's a work tool. It's it's designed to do a job. As you can see, it's a bolt action rifle. Got a, a nice bolt action there. Good positive bolt action. It's still quite new. This so it's not worn in very well. It's got a set trigger or a hair trigger, which means you can set the trigger. Um, you can clip the trigger forward when the when the bolt action is cocked, so that um, the the trigger pull is a lot lighter and a lot more crisp. Um, we've got um, a seven by fifty mm optoscope on there. We've got some high. That's the big uh, nine to twenty four, nine to twenty four inches bipod, which means um, those bipods extend out on three legs, so that even if you sat down, you can have a, a, a stable platform to shoot off. And then moderator. Um, that is a moderator, it's not a silencer. Uh, you can't fully silence a weapon. You can suppress it or moderate it. Our colleagues in America call them suppressors. In the UK and in Europe we call them moderators. Basically what that is is a big tube full of baffles. So up and down this tube, this section's in it, which are of course filled with air. And what happens is the gases from the bullet round as it's ex exiting the barrel, the gases expand into these chambers. And what that helps is it also it helps with the recoil Thorse was going that way, but it also helps muffle the sound. You cannot fully silence a weapon. Um, the British OSS made a gun in the Second World War called the Well Rod, which was quite a bit, quite a, a, a well, quite a well, well used um, sort of espionage pistol, which was very quiet. But it wasn't silent. As far as I'm aware, you can't fully silence a weapon. You can suppress them. So, you know, we, we try and use the correct terms and get away from. From saying silencers, the moderators actually moderate the sound. Bipods are good. Um, I've got two sizes. I've got that large one and I've got a small one. Small one if you sat in a high seat, of course, with a client who's not who's not you know au fait with using rifles, just gives it a stable platform. These are on quick release swivels, so you can take them off, um, and of course you don't have to cart them when you go in woodland stalking. Um, standard bolt action. Um, this has a got a, a spring loaded 
floor plate magazine basically what that is is it will hold, hold four rounds um, and there's a clip underneath that you can pull back and the the whole of the floor plate comes out so if you're ascending a fence or if you're going up into a high seat you can drop the rounds into your hand put them in your jacket pocket and climb up the high seat with the either the boat open or closed on an empty chamber which makes it safe so if you fall or somebody's coming up at the side here you can pass the rifle up and then nobody's going to get a live a live rifle pointed at them or a loaded rifle this is a neoprene pad it does have um bullet holders in which i do use occasionally but i bought it mainly because i needed to raise my face up to use the the bigger bell on the scope scopes are a very personal private thing there's a lot to be said for scopes and there's a lot of macho posturing about who's got big scopes and who's not and what they do and blah 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 i've always been a fan of fixed uh, objective scopes i'm not a fan of variable scopes we do have them i'm not really a fan of them <coughs> this is a Meopta Artemis 750 made in Czechoslovakia in the same similar area to where the rifles made um, the consensus of opinion and acquired knowledge for scopes is um, the the scopes ocular bell should be divisible by the objective bell by seven so for woodland stalking generally it's either an 8 by 56 or a 6 by 42 and of course if we know our maths then 6 goes into 42 7 times this is a 7 by 50 so um, it goes in 7 plus 1 7 7 is 49 plus 1 50 so I'm trying to strike the happy medium here and another sort of um, bit of gain knowledge with, with rifles is you should try and buy the best scope that you can and spend more on the glass on top than the rifle cost um, some guys do that uh, and it, it's quite easy to do if you're buying Swarovski scopes or Schmidt and Bender or Zeiss at at twelve thirteen hundred quid a, a time, then then you, that's easily done. You know, when a rifle such as this, I mean, this rifle um, cost me, uh, and I got it trade for four hundred quid. This uh, uh, um, Artemis scope is very good. It's got good um, good crosshairs in, um, and it's got. Um, a, a basic range finder built into the reticle which means there are a, there are a series of lines graduated down the scope and if you put a, a deer's head between one and two the head and shoulder that that equals 200 yards so you can you can um, you can adjust your shot either up or down uh, on your crosshairs it's just a, a basic range finder it's nothing you know it's not it's not guaranteed to be accurate but it's sort of a rule of thumb thing um, this scope has been on three rifles and it cost me the princeless sum of 175 pounds uh, and at the time I thought it was enough to pay but I've had it a long time and it's a very good scope and I wouldn't change it I've looked at Schmidt and Bender I've looked at Zeiss I've looked at Soroski I've looked at Nikon, I've looked at Redline, I've looked at Leopold, I've looked at qu quite a few of them and not one of them comes, in my opinion, comes as close to that and as, as, as useful as that. Um, I like the rifle, it is quite heavy um, and of course loaded up with moderator, pods, heavy scope, you know, and especially with some rounds in it, it you know, it's coming on for sort of eight pounds, eight and a half pounds, which is a lump of, a lump of steel to be carrying about the woods. But like I said, it's a workaday tool. It does the job. I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with the caliber. Um, the caliber, as we discussed before, is very soft on the shoulder, um, but as the stopping power of some larger calibers up to sort of two seventy, three oh eight. Um, I know you know different calibers have different fashions and people fall in and out of love with them one thing or another but um, I, and, and I'm the same you know at one time I said I would never I would never have anything but 270 but now I really like the 6.5 I'm a total convert uh, and some of our clients that come from Europe love it love the 6.5 they bring their own 6.5s across to England to start with um, we've seen some blazer ones we've seen some um, um, other German mate that I just can't I just can't recall um, but 
it's a very very popular caliber uh, and these CZ rifles are excellent um, they are mm, they are brought into the country by a company called Edgar Brothers at Macclesfield um, they've got an excellent website they they're well supported throughout especially in the Northwest they're very very well supported so you know if you're in your gun shop if you're in line for another rifle by all means give them give them give them a look and uh, you know and have a look at them they come in various models and various you know detachable mags and you know fancy stocks and one thing or another but as a as a, a work a day rifle I don't I don't think you I don't think you'd go wrong. So I hope that gives you a bit of insight into the, the actual the actual boomstick as it's called, you know, the, the gun that we that I use on a day to day basis for stalking. Um I will get, I will try and do an update on this on this rifle a bit a bit later on in the year when I've when I've got to grips with it and, and used it a bit longer. So I hope that's of some enjoyment to you. What I'll do is I'll post this up. I've got another couple of videos to do today and um I'll get those up and um, thank you very much for your comments again and please stick with me because we're, uh, we're getting on a bit of a roll with this and we're going to have some fun alright, thanks a lot guys take care now, bye bye